selfie stick. Levi was the human selfie stick before it even existed. So the super cool thing about being here today is that I've been watching videos since Ty was already making them and distributing them on, on these things right here. Do you remember this? VHS. That's the tape that went in the VCR. So this is a Freefly Moby. Basically stabilization for your camera. It uses this little box back here. It has an IMU in it. Same as your phone accelerometers. You go left, it goes right. You go down, it goes up. You can be shaking, look at that. How insane is technology? Remember I told you you were gonna see how to make real videos today? We'll call them movies. <laughs> this is a very special day for Ty. Today is the first day in a very long journey. I'm starting on another film. I said I wouldn't, but I am. So we got palm trees and blue skies, can't ask for much more. We got our filming hut. Going Rambo. Put camouflage netting on the side, so we'll have cameras and gear and crew inside there. We're gonna meet the skaters down in a couple minutes, down at the bottom of the hill, film them walking up, get their reactions, because they've never seen this place before. And then we'll film here on the ground. We have red cameras, phantom cameras, shot over on the van, you name it. Then I'm gonna dip out of here, jump in a heli, come back and fly around for an hour at the end of the day. So this is a shot over F1. This is a gyro stabilized camera system originally made to go underneath helicopters. So inside we have a Canon 3300, Fizz Motors Zoom Focus Iris, and we have a Red Weapon shooting 6K. Raw. You know, I come from the days of like having a handy cam in my backpack to now we're running around with a half million dollar camera system in the front of our van. Show me how you control this thing. Pan left, pan right, up, down. Have everything in your fingertips right here, but also have it on a vehicle ripping down the road, doing 80 miles an hour, going over bumps, and it's rock solid. Woo-wee! Yeah, he lied! It's a rather emotional Wednesday today. I say that because I'm sitting here for the final touches of Ty's new film, The Flat Earth. How are you feeling, man? Pretty dusted. <laughs> it's funny because the last time I saw you was the first day of filming and now it's done. Like, this thing didn't even exist on that day. You don't know what this feeling is until you have completed it, but let's show them what a 52 minute timeline looks like. It's as though you gave birth to a child. Each one of these little things right here is a video clip. All this right here is audio clip. Here's something that I've never done. <laughs> Had any type of structure or uh, vision behind the video that I made. I'm pretty much grab and go. So give me some insight here. Every video I do usually starts like this. Look at things that are here and get inspired to do that in the computer. You know, I start experimenting with these different camera systems that film 360 and VR, which usually you put on the goggles and you look around it. But I was like, what if you take that in a 2D 16 by 9 space and start manipulating it? Like, oh, you could bend the earth. Here's your little mini earth, but then you can flatten it, whip it around and move it. And I wrote that down right there. I want you to show me your favorite shot in this movie. Mm, for sure, favorite. Because it's like, you don't know what's happening, you can hear them coming, you see a rail, you don't even really realize that that's part of the equation at this point. And now it's like, okay, cool, he's grinding a rail, yup, mm hmm A combination of grinding a rail, hopping off onto the ledge. To make all that work, uh, watching this film felt like several things. It felt almost video game-esque for many reasons, for the movement and the experiential, but I realized seeing the different shots, locations, tricks, the falls, it felt what it is like to be a skateboarder and actually even more in depth than that. It really doesn't make sense until you experience what this is. Yeah, man, I mean, this whole thing has been such an insane ride. You know, I've been making skate films 
films for 25 years or something. I've made almost 30 of them. I think every film is spawned from the film before. This one just, for me, is the most organic skate film I've ever made because it's 100% me doing it, grabbing my own gear, grabbing some friends, jumping in the van, hitting the road. No one else is behind it except us. It feels different, it feels cool. One last thing. I need an on-camera agreement that you and I can go out one day and I can get a couple of tricks filmed. Oh, you got a mean front blunt. <laughs> we gotta get a front blunt down something. Sick.